Hello rap members. Today we are experiencing Metal Gear Solid 3 once more. And I'm quite excited. See, I've even been growing up my facial hair so I can look like so I can look like look, wrong side. Wrong side this is confusing. Wait, no no. Wait, this guy right here, there we go. Okay. Naked snake. That's obviously not why, but um yeah. It's gonna be good. Last time we did a very long stream. I never intend to do them <laughs> this long. <laughs> this game is too good, it just calls for it. But I have been getting immersed in the Metal Gear lore and fandom and community all week. I'm reading some interesting stuff, watching some good videos. And um, yeah, I have some fun stuff to talk about. But um, yeah, why don't we go ahead and get started? Of course, I waited to turn on my PlayStation 2 for you. Uh oh, why don't I hear it? That's not good. Wait, what? That's not good. Are you guys hearing this? Hold on a second. Something was wrong. I don't know what was happening there. I had to reset. I don't know how it sounds right. The settings are probably messed up. Hold on. Oh, what the hell is that buzzing? What? Hold up. That's a problem. Uh-oh. And silence through the night. I think I fixed it. I think I fixed it. What a thrill. Old technology, am I right? I'm Fiddling with the damn chords of the TV. This seems very loud. It, what a does it sound like this? That, this, this but feels very loud. So supreme. It's like I have to scream all that time. why it was so loud this time last time y'all had me turn it up like plus 12 decibels which is what it was at but that was like extraordinarily loud wait do you guys still hear the buzzing what the hell is going on Okay, there's like a sweet spot. There's like a sweet spot where you have to hold the cord. It's definitely not picking up now. Okay, we're good. What button is it? X or circle? X, I think. Damn it! All right, it's okay. So we left off with the bug guy. I can't think of what they call him in the game. Uh. The pain. Yeah, we have stuff with the pain. Not really the most extraordinary villain of the game. Probably the... Well, I say not the most, but definitely the least. And here we are back in this cave. Or as some would say, back in the mines. What the hell? Is that a light reflection? In the water? Oh, it is. It's so weird. I almost feel like I don't know how to play. I mean, I, I'm, I'm over-exaggerating, but... Oh, man, after all week. After this week. <sighs> Alright, let, let me know how everything's sounding, guys. I had to reset the settings, so if it's too quiet or too loud or it looks weird, just let me know and I'll fix it. Also, when we killed the bug guy, I, didn't, I don't think he dropped anything for us. We kind of just left off right after that. 
like we just walked around the cave and then we were like, yeah, it's really late, we should go, but good for you. Well, that's good. does a really good job at masking whatever techniques they use to make the water look good because again this is 2004 but this honestly looks really extraordinary for 2004 i mean ignoring the the pixeliness and the grain because every game back then was like this the actual work here is kind of phenomenal really damn I also don't recall which way we came in from, so I might be walking... I don't know, this I don't, This doesn't look that familiar, but I, then it's a cave. Maybe this is the way out! Maybe. Some frogs down here. Actually, let's eat. was pretty tasty. Wish there was like an organize button. It's such a bizarre order everything's in. Let's taste a crab. Ugh, it's rotten. Oh, well that's not good. We still filled up though. Wait, are we taking damage? Why is our life bar blinking? What's going on? What the fuck? Stomach ache, food poisoning, contracted from eating rotten food. Stamina will continually decrease until cured. What? The cure take digestive medicine. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, let, let, let's not eat a fucking crab again. Man, Mr. Krabs is rotten. Man's too greedy. Oh, stick, stick. Sleep. Is that the good one? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, where's our torch at? Am I blind? Wait, it's not here. I probably de-equipped it last time. Anyhow, how has everybody's day been today? I'll be real, I've had better days myself, but, um, my day was fine. Wait. Weapon 8 out of 8. What is the 8th thing? I, I only see 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, we have a smoke grenade? Let's just take that off. <clears throat> I kind of want to use the directional mic, but it's also not very useful. <laughs> That's okay, I'm going to keep it anyway. Made it, good lord. Well, we just started. You didn't really miss anything. And, uh, good thing, too, because you don't want to miss nothing on this, uh, fantastic journey we're about to expedite on. Are we leaving? The cave, finally? Question mark? Maybe? I don't know. For anybody watching recorded, last stream was exactly a week ago, and I... This is a damn cave, and I have bad memory. <laughs> so, this kind of looks familiar, but it's all the same goddamn thing. I don't really know if I... Oh, no, I, this is backwards. All right, we're going back. Pass the fuck out after a call. It's certainly hit with the honk, me, me, me's. Well, you got your ZZZs. Z, Z's. And maybe you should continue your CCs after the stream, you know, get on a get on a good sleep schedule and wake up in the the time when the wake up with the sun. It's like the most old person thing I've said in a while. I feel like And then Alex was over here calling me old the other day. Even though I'm literally a baby still. But Woke up early this morning, spent too much time in the sun. And the sun is definitely draining. Not a fan of that. 
Nuh-uh. What do you mean, uh? You literally called me an old person. It's so hot, bro. It's hot here, too. I wouldn't have gone out if I didn't have to. Called Mazel? We're literally one year apart, my guy. If you're calling Mazel, you're pretty much calling me old. <laughs> We're not and he's not old either. <sighs> my guy, <clears throat> to any old people in the chat, which would be nobody, um, yeah, listen, you're not old until you're like, what do you guys consider old? I don't consider you old until you're like 50, 60. I've seen plenty of 50 year olds that I hung out with and that are still my friends. I wouldn't call them old. I think 60 is when you start reaching the age where your bones suck and you start forgetting things often and you really start looking the age you are. But yeah, I don't I don't think you're old until you're uh, twice my age, really. I'm over that. Over that. Grandpa over here eating his oatmeal raisin cookies. First off, I haven't bought them for a long time. Second off, those are healthy and I'm going to live I'm gonna look young when I'm old because I eat my oatmeal raisin cookies and I and I, I do my best to be healthy. I don't think you're too old if you're around 50 or 62. Yeah. What, oh, we getting a cutscene? Almost looked like it sounded like an alien ship. Oh, I see a snake. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. This game ain't called Snake Eater for nothing. Oh, foodful. I was gonna alien ship too. Yeah, I don't know what that was. Uh, let's eat an Oton frog. What is that? You guys see that s symbol on the frog? Like like how there's like two white things next to the name? What is that? Oh wait, it's on a lot of these. I don't know what that means. What? What does that symbol mean? Look, it doesn't appear on the rations, but it appears on everything else. This one it does not appear on. Is it rotten? Why would it be rotten? I'm kind of afraid to eat it now. I want to. I might regret this. I want to try eating it. Ugh, it's rotten. Oh, what the fuck? All my food's rotten. Why is it all rotten? What happened? Was it the bees? Bro, my anaconda. My anaconda don't want none. Alright, moving on. That, oh, this is so disappointing. This is like that time where my when I first moved and my fucking refrigerator went out and I had to get rid of all of my new groceries, which was the most disappointing feeling ever. It was so disheartening to throw out all my plenty good groceries. Where's her stomach medicine? There you go. You remember that? Yeah. Why did I have to go rotten though? What the fuck? It must have been the bees. God damn it, Nicholas Cage is right all alone, not the bees, man. Not the dang bees. I have to say for a PS2 game, this game feels very open worldy, which is surprising for a game from this time. Like, it, honestly, it does a really good job at, um, suspending disbelief and giving the illusion that the world is, like, a big, expansive world. Even though, in reality, this is... <laughs> what? Um, well, that just happened. 
Do I have a bomb detector on me? What the fuck? I'm kind of afraid to get these items now. What? Yeah, that really was a pop scare, man. What the fuck was that? Oh no, I'm injured. God damn it. What is it? It's a suburb. Oh, it's a burn. Okay. You know how in, in games people go, um... In games people be like, How the hell is this character surviving all these things? Well, I guess this game wanted to at least partially address that by having you actually have to treat the wounds for whatever you're injured by. I mean, MGS1, Liquid and the Solid Snake take so many goddamn bullets, it's a mystery how they made it out alive. Unless their skin is just... I mean, I don't know. They are, like, genetically enhanced or whatever, so maybe that contributes to it, but still. Oh, also, I totally forgot! Oh, dude, I started the game, and I wanted to show you guys something. So, it's... Don't worry. I'm not, I'm not gonna, um, blue balls from the game. It's related to the game. I actually totally missed out on awesome, funny dialogue from last time. Because I have not been calling paramedic and SIGINT. I see you found some Russian glow caps. Why? Why? My goddamn window is appearing off the screen. I can't even see it. What is going I on? I see you found some Russian glow caps. The hell? My window's opening off the goddamn screen, so I can't grab it. This shit. Oh boy, Windows 10 is starting to show its age. Okay, I think I got it. So yeah, I haven't been calling our wonderful, lovely, adorable paramedic and Sigint, which I've only called once. He's our weapons specialist, like Natasha from MGS1. And um, paramedic is uh, awesome, but I haven't been calling them and I should be. Now, I picked up something called a glow cap in the last stream that I knifed off the floor of the caves. And I made a joke that it was like a Terraria thing. But um, if you call her after you... I believe after you eat it, you get this. Right? Yeah, yeah, check this out. Check this out. Paramedic. What's up? You were right. About what? I ate a Russian glow cap and it charged up my batteries. Huh? What's wrong? I, uh, that's, that's great. <laughs> um, Snake, can you excuse me for a second? Sure. Did you just hear that? Yeah. There's no way eating a bioluminescent mushroom would cause your batteries to recharge. What do you think it means? Beats me. Maybe it's all in his mind. <laughs> you mean like a placebo effect? <laughs> Why not? You've seen how gullible he is. Well, I guess there's no harm done. Should we let him keep believing it? Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay, Snake, I'm back. Yes, the Russian glow cap is a glowing mushroom, so it'll recharge your batteries when you eat it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, why is Naked Snake so stupid? <laughs> I like how Solid Snake's like a fucking genius and like a tactician. He's all snarky and a smartass. The Naked Snake's like, mm, I ate the mushroom and it recharged my batteries. <laughs> oh shit. Actually, let's call, um, let's call paramedic right now. Maybe I should comment on our stomach ache. I see you've caught a Thai Cobra. Oh. The Thai Cobra is a large venomous snake that carries an extremely potent neurotoxin. Be careful not to get bitten. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to give yourself a serum injection. The Thai Cobra originally comes from Indochina, Thailand, and Southern China. The ones in that area were probably imported as pets and research subjects before they escaped and turned feral. Not as food. From the nature channel, Come again? They weren't imported as food. They're not for eating. So they don't taste good, then? That's not my point. It's not a matter of whether they taste good or not. People don't raise snakes for food, period. 
Okay. So you're saying they might be good to eat, right? Only one way to find out. Bruh. <laughs> oh, why is he? He wants to eat the snake so bad. Let's call it Eva. Snake, you beat the pain. Not without a tough fight. How did it feel to fight one of the boss's comrades? What are you getting at? I just want to know what it's like to have fought a member of the legendary Cobra unit. That's all. What you want to know is if I can really face the boss. Is that right? Well, that too. Don't waste your time worrying about me. I'll get the mission done. I certainly hope so. So the exit of the cave is up ahead? Right. Go to the end of the cave and you'll come out in an aqueduct overgrown with mangroves. This leads to the Ponizovie swamp. Okay. Let's call... I'm gonna keep going on Major Tom. Mage Tom. The exit from the cave should be toward the back. Proceed through the cave and find the exit to the swamp aqueduct. No. He's just our colonel. He's just straight to the point, I guess. Let's call Sigim. Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. Uh. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. Hmm, interesting. We need to call them more because there's, there's so much to the game that you don't get unless you're like actually actively. <clears throat> oh no, get up! Holy shit, it's really easy to fall off those ledges. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so guys, I learned that Sigint is Donald Anderson from Metal Gear Solid 1, the DARPA chief. The guy who gets like a heart attack at the beginning of the game and tells Snake about the nuclear detonation codes and whatever. What the fuck? That's crazy. Also a very random choice to bring him back of all characters, but that, that is very interesting. I mean, I guess it fits. I guess this is where he started. Weapon specialist, and then he became part of DARPA. I guess there's cool ways of connecting the games together. Shit, we're in a swamp now. What the fuck? What's up with that? What in the world? Hold up. Can somebody tell me what the fuck that is? I see you found your way to the aqueduct. If you follow it to the north, you'll come to a warehouse used for transporting supplies. Pass through the warehouse, and you'll come out into a forest. The lab where Sokolov is being held is directly to the north of that forest, so head north. Okay, well, he just gives us our directions. Is nobody going to comment on what the fuck that is? What the fuck is that? Is there a guy on there? Oh, there is, look. What the fuck? Um, let me just get out of the water. It's the A La Mouse, <laughs> why? <laughs> can I not get out over here? Oh, I don't think I can, oh. Where'd he go? Wait, where did he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, headshot! Oh, did y'all see that? We're being attacked. No! Position no! No, don't do that! Uh-oh. Maybe that wasn't the best option. Blowing up a floating vehicle. Um, what can I say? That happened. 
<laughs> what is that ahead of us? Wait, what? That that's him blocking the way there? No, oh, snake, stay there. Why is he just blocking my damn way? There's just two guys here. I think I was taken care of. Wait, which way was that? This way? Okay, good. Oh, god damn. Chaff grenades. Very good. Yeah, so I've been getting way too into Metal Gear Solid lately. I was, I was sitting on the toilet reading Metal Gear Solid articles, and then I found one that was just so fucking funny. There's, there's this, like, article by Screen Rant, or some guy was writing an article about the best villains in the MGS series. I'm talking about, I mean, Kojima obviously has some fucking amazing cinematics and storytelling capabilities that really immerse us. Some of the best storytelling in gaming, but... Is this a cutscene? I don't want to talk over this cutscene. Okay, good, it's not. Um, but the characters are, the, like, the strongest part of any story. I mean... The cinematics don't really matter if the characters can't hold your attention, especially in a game so dialogue-driven as this. Oh. Wait! No! Stay! Stop! Damn it! Stop doing that thing! Okay, so we should change out of our zombie <laughs> camouflage. Nothing is really good in the water. That's surprising. We'll just be Jack. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. We're not going to do that again. We won't be Jack. Uh, let's go back to Splitter. I think that looks pretty good. Plus 10. What else we got? No, why not? Well, I like the look of this. That's cool. Okay, I don't see any other guards around. Considering- No, Snake, stop! I don't want to do that! I'm just trying to duck! Wait, I can't duck while I'm in this damn water. No, 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 it was nothing. It was nobody. What? No! No! How did you see me? You, god damn it. I'm so used to guys having terrible vision in MGS2. Uh, I'm not used to guys actually being able to see well. Uh-oh. 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. What the fuck? This section of the game just got fucking weird. Very fast. Uh oh. What? Oh shit, where is it? <coughs> oh god, get me out of the water. If I can. Or can I not get out of this little damn water? I'm being blinded. For Christ's sake. Oh, first try again. Yo, I'm, I'm so good at those headshots. Yo! Give me a goddamn pistol and I'm set for life. So guys, I learned something amazing. Metal Gear Solid has, Metal Gear Solid 3 and 2, I didn't know this even though I was playing 2, it has pressure sensitive buttons on the PS2. And if you lightly release the button while you're holding it, like, like, cause you have to hold the button to aim your gun, 
but if you lightly release it instead of immediately releasing it, your character will actually lift their finger off the trigger and you won't fire. I've just gotten used to equipping and de-equipping the weapon, but I did not fucking know you could do that. I also have a problem with sensitivity, though. I, I, I have, like, a restraint issue. I can't lightly tap something. I, I, I don't know why. I always, like, press down too hard on everything. So I, I don't think I'm going to be able to use that feature, really. But very cool to know that exists. Oh, shot scared me. I thought a guy was about to walk out of there. Um, we got a suppressor. That's good. Speaking of which, give me my... Uh, yeah, there we go. Jesus, snake. TNT? Dragon off sniper rifle? God damn! Well, that's something that would be fucking useful. Uh, oh, that's it for the storage shed. Well, I mean, I say that's it, but we just got a guy named sniper rifle, so that's pretty good. Okay. Not sure what else I'm supposed to do in this area, but uh, we got a sniper. Oh, oh, we got a new weapon. Let's call Sigand. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo? That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what would happen if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know. Oh, they're talking about the ones that, that Volgan used to destroy the whole base. Wait, what about my dragon off? Oh, I'm not holding it. Maybe that's why I didn't comment on it. Oh, I, I don't have it equipped. Uh, let's see. Well, I think it might be about time for our wonderful and be Oh, no, we got a torch. Let's get rid of that damn torch. Okay. Magazine, TNT, okay, so we have a lot of useful stuff. I gotta keep this in mind. We got five things of TNT, goddamn. There's a lot of things to equip. Wait, oh, here it is. I fucking scrolled over it. Also, the Dragon Elf is in COD. It's in uh, Modern Warfare 3 and I think 2. No, actually, I can't recall if it was in 2. I know it was in 3. good not the best but it's pretty damn good i used it in spec ops when i had to it's like one of the first ones you get that's the only reason why i know that okay so if we put those guys to sleep on the uh flying vehicles i wonder if they'll still die because they'll probably crash i imagine anyway See some big fish. All right, I think that's it for this area. Can I just say that uh, going from MGS one where you always have the Soliton radar on the screen to two where you just have to activate a node to get it to three where there's none, kind of makes it a lot more intense when you don't have the damn radar. But I also I'm not sure what the boundaries of the map are necessarily. Just kind of, a, I guess, a plus and a minus depending on your perspective. Uh oh. Sounds so close. Oh, it is very close. Huh? Oh. Huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, I walked away from that explosion. Damn it, swim snake! Acknowledged. Keep your eyes open. No, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <sighs> Too bloodthirsty, guys. Get your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? Time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. Damn you. Hold it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? Uh. hasn't run out yet. He really is the Ocelot in this game, I called it. He's actually the Ocelot in this game. Oh shit. There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. <laughs> oh. You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. <sighs> Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? Pain is dead. What? Dude needs some uh, better anger management. Abilities. He may be a child, but he's definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. 
We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. Oh no! I'm leaving him to you, the fear. is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Yeah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. <sighs> Sorrow, is that you? We're just gonna leave the old guy out here. Did they just leave it? The old guy's just out there now. Wait, is he wheeling around? Wait a second. I want to see if I can see what's happening. Oh no, they wheeled him off! Damn it! I wonder what would have happened if I shot him. You might think, oh, nah, there's no way you could have. This is Metal Gear Solid. I bet you could shoot him early. Shit, we got a dragon up. We really are playing COD, guys. Okay, this is a stealth game. Let me not be a dumbass. I'm sorry. But then again, I could snipe. How the fuck am I supposed to get past this area without sniping? Look at all these goddamn guys. We can stealth in. I'm kind of curious what the characters have to say about what ha what's happening. Major, Sokolov has been hauled off. Yes, they probably caught him trying to escape from the lab. Didn't Volgin say that they still needed to perform the final test? Yeah. Then Sokolov must have been taken back to the lab. Get to the lab and get Sokolov the hell out of there. Pass through that warehouse and you'll come out south of the lab. Make your way inside the warehouse. Watch out for enemy sentries. Okay. What about you, Eva? Oh. Because she's not available. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. Mm. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And wow. snake. And snake. 
The giant anaconda is a very large snake, but you should be able to capture it alive using the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. <laughs> Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't realize I catched an anaconda. An anaconda jump! Looks like you're wearing the splitter pattern camo. Splitter was used quite a bit in World War II on German aircraft and stuff. The pattern helped mask the plane's attitude and direction in dogfights. Even now, it's still being used as camouflage in some places. Hmm. It works best when you wear it against a steel or stone background. Okay. You want to save? Hold on a sec. When she's gonna tell us about a movie now. All right, so we have um, Mei Ling in MGS One giving us her Chinese proverbs. We have uh, Rose in MGS Two with Raiden's relationship drama. And let's not forget about Otacon in the tanker mission in MGS Two, parroting Mei Ling. Snake, have you ever seen the War of the Worlds? No. These flying saucers from Mars arrive on Earth disguised as meteorites. The saucers use their heat rays to attack the nearby towns. And then... Um... Something wrong. Uh, the thing is, I was too scared to watch. I had my eyes shut almost the whole time. Then you haven't seen it. No, it's not that. It's based on a novel by H.G. Wells. You haven't seen it, have you? That does remind me, though. When I was two years old, my father listened to the radio drama version of the story. It was right after dinner on Sunday, and we were relaxing in the living room. They said monsters had come out of a meteorite that landed in New Jersey. It sounded just like a real live news broadcast. My father said he and my older brother actually believed it and started yelling and panicking. My mother supposedly grabbed me from my crib and took me out to the car, still wrapped up in blankets. But then, just as my dad was about to start the car, he realized that it was all just a radio drama. Because on the car's radio, they were playing Bing Crosby tunes. No matter what station he turned to, no one else seemed to be reporting on this big history-making news story. Sounds like something out of the big broadcast. Nobody said a word. We all went back to our rooms. My father and brother got off with a scolding from my mother, but I was the one who really suffered. After that incident, every time I acted up, my father and brother would scare me by saying, The Martians are coming! That's terrible. Isn't it, though? So, you haven't seen the movie. I... I saw it. So... So even nuclear weapons wouldn't work against the Martian war machines. Uh-huh. Anyway, Snake, if you conceal yourself like the Martians did, the enemy won't know what hit them. Conceal myself? Maybe not in a meteorite, but if you can hide yourself inside something a little more close at hand... Mm hmm... Close at hand... Something like... a box. Ah, uh, I get it. So, you never saw the movie. <laughs> I saw it, all right? <laughs> well, I love those two. <laughs> okay, so the laboratory's up ahead, I'm assuming, because that's where they took them. They took them this way. It seems like every time I attack the guys, it just causes problems, but they're literally guarding the door. I don't see how... I'm going to get in here without attacking the guys. Who was that? Oh, shit. No. Get away. Get away. <laughs> no! I changed my camo. What? Nothing. What's well, night? We'll put this back on. Damn it! Who's that? I was trying so hard not to get caught. That's it. These bitches asked for it. Headshot! Maybe. Okay, that wasn't a headshot. Pistol is really fucking difficult. Come 
come on, I was doing so good up until this point. Fucking kill me at this point, seriously. Ah, my god, you drain all my health. I might as well practice my shot and see what I can do. I'm just gonna practice. And okay. Well. Snake, what happened? What happened? That's what I'd like to know. The end! He's on the screen, guys! He's on the screen! The end is on the screen. What? How do I aim? Uh oh. Wait. Let go. Okay. No. How do I aim? Adjust scope with triangle button? Um, hey, can I aim? Oh shit, it's this button? The end's gone now. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Can you kill him like that early? Oh, there's lots of ways to kill the end. <laughs> oh, shit. What's that? There's an item. You guys see that? Oh, it's just, uh, just a bullet. I'm full on this land right now. Sniper bullets, there we go. <sighs> Alright, well apparently sniping was the right way to go because there's only a few guys in the area. And it seems that unless they contact... See, because my problem with MGS2 is that the guys had much worse vision than these guys, but they fucking pulled out the radio so fast in MGS2. It was a pain in the goddamn ass. Like, every time they saw you, without even before... Before even considering their own life, it was like... <gasps> Requesting backup. Enemy spotted. Like, how about you shut your bitch ass up? How about that? Full? Yeah, I guess I'm full. Alright, let's eat. We might we might get to see Snake eating, depending on uh, what I eat. Well, it's not like the giant anaconda yet, because we're not that low on health. Not eating yet? I was told to try the taste. Okay, all right, I'll take it. That, that was the perfect amount of regeneration, too. We'll have to try the other grenades I got. Anything good over here? Give me your stuff. Now, I would like to introduce you to the water. No, wait, no. This <gasps> Not me to the water! Sorry, the controls are kind of weird when you're carrying somebody. Wait, no. Snake, no, no. It doesn't want me to pull him off the water for some reason. There we go. Now they won't find no one. See? We're a stealth master. Now this guy over here... Yeah, we're just gonna stuff him in a corner. Kinda already is in a corner, but we gotta see if he has anything good on him. Alright. We're pretty full on stuff, which is a good thing. The splitter's probably good for this area, but let me just make sure.
Yeah, everything else is negative, so Splitter's the best option right now. Why is there two ways to go? Volgan went this way. Guys, which way do you think we should go? Do you guys want to go left or right? Because Volgan went that way. And we saw Sokolov go that way. Right? I think so. Oh, I kind of want to check this way. ADHD moment, guys. I can't decide. I'm going to go this way. Alright. I'm not going to attend to pronounce whatever that word is. So where the hell did the fear go running off to? Like, he ran way past where I was. But they made it seem like he's going to be the next guy we have to worry about. Without a Soliton Raider, I've really got to watch my surroundings to make sure there's not a guy around the corner. And there is! Leave! Leave! Oh, that's right. You're seeing things. Alright, that's a good answer. I like that answer. Too late. Fuck, I hit a railing! The enemy is Are you clock. serious? You can hit the railing? What the fuck? I didn't even know you could hit the railing! Damn it, we're still on caution? Huh? <gasps> What's wrong? Let's just go back this way. Maybe I have a box I can hide in. It says two weapons lab east wing on the side. Nothing conspicuous here, just a um, inconspicuous block box rather in the middle of the hallway. Don't worry about it. Yo, this music is cool as shit. Okay. <laughs> oh shit, there's a lot of guys in here, my lord. We might be able to get on the stairs safely, question mark? Maybe? There's 20 guys nearby each other to take out here. Dick's out for Harambe. The fact that we still remember Harambe for that meme. <gasps> I didn't mean to say that, that was an accident! Uh... Please don't go up the stairs. Please don't do that. Once they turn around, I'm gonna have to shoot them in the head. Trying hard that time. 
Fuck stealth! I can't play stealth games! Oh shit! How about fucking grenade? Stealth my ass! Oh my lord, they're aggressive! Wait, 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 why am I using my MK? What? Am I gonna use that? Oh my god, I'm getting fucked in the ass right now. Jesus Christ. Just kill me at this point, guys. Look it, you're clearly not doing a good job, so let me help you out here. I'll just, um... Oh, I thought I had a snap. That's okay. Enemy spotted. Requesting backup. I don't miss that at all, by the way. Thank God that's not the system anymore. This game is very unforgiving. <laughs> they really want you to be stealthy in this game because it is very, very unforgiving when you start fighting. Okay. Why oh, even have my my suppressor broke in my gun last time? That's why I didn't have it. Motion detector. It's a lot of moving things. That's a whole lot of moving things. What the fuck is in this room? That's not very helpful. No! Huh? Huh? Oh, thank Crimey Cricket. Jesus, how did I miss the first two times? Move him out the way here. Guy does, that other guy doesn't patrol though this far. Okay, he's not over here right now. Box? Oh, is this just an alternate? Oh, it's an alternate entrance. Both those doors led to the same place. I, I, I like this game's use of like constant immersive ambience over music honestly really makes sets the stealth like slow paced tone very well what HQ, who, who heard that this is hq oh <gasps> control here we're being attacked enemy position unknown going into high alert acknowledge sending reinforcements use extra caution what happened? Did he fall asleep? Uh oh. What's that noise? Oh shit! <laughs> What's wrong? Ah, fucking Christ! Who's that? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh shit. Hiya! Yeah, fuck you! How about you take a shotgun, you bitch? I'm very good at stealth games. Oh, did we take out all the guys? Oh, we took out all the guys. Thank Christ. Can I pick him up? Is he too dead? Okay, no, we're good. What's wrong? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, well, that's okay. We took care of it. At least there's not endless respawning enemies, so that's good. Look at it. We're not, we're not playing as a superhero. Uh, it's okay. We, we, we might kill a few people along the way on our journey. It's okay. Oh, I can't get up there? What? Oh, I see. Look at all these damn crabs and shit on the floor. Oh shit, we're, we're injured, whoops. Just a burn, we'll be okay. 
I'm using up my medication very quickly, though. I need to be careful. Oh, I thought I heard footsteps. Sipped in. Disinfect. Well, there we go. I was just talking about that shit. Good snake doesn't need his normal pills for medication. <laughs> Yeah, we, we all know that, uh, maybe I should be on some normal pills for my own sanity's sake. Is this open? I don't think so. Looks like a broken elevator. Okay. Grand Nini Gorky South. Can that be the name of a character? Granini Gorky? And it's a grandma. Her name's Granini. Major, I need my normal pills. I think this is 1960. Normal pills weren't invented yet. Oh, yeah, that's legit. I like that it's a major now instead of colonel. Very 60s. Gorky sounds like a good deli meat. <laughs> How about some gawk gawk? Can I get. Can I order a slice of gawk? Uh oh. What's going on out here? Oh man, it's dark. Just call me Graninny. <laughs> You're Graninny now. Um, guys, I don't see anybody out here. I think we're alone. Wait, what's that? That's an animal. We should be fine. I don't see anyone. Why is this weirdly ominous? I kind of don't like this, though. Dear Brian's watching. You can only notice turkey is called Ga. Ga. <laughs> oh, shit. I can't wait to have a, a, you know, a triple gawk deli sandwich. What's your guys' favorite deli meat? Like, do you have a choice of deli meat when you go to the store? Are you committed more to one option than other ones, usually? Well, that was a trip! Okay, thank God I caught that. Salami. Okay, salami's a good choice. I respect that. I honestly do usually go for turkey, but that's because I like... Turkey mayo, turkey and cheese, turkey lettuce, you know, like, you can do a lot with turkey. Isn't there somewhere where it's like, you can really only do one thing with it, but I do like salami and pepperoni. That, those are good. Not nearly as healthy for you as turkey, but yeah. Yes, I love pimento loaf. I am not completely sure what that is. It's like, you, you, you're too niche for uh, me. I'm, I'm, I'm a basic bitch with food. It's like bologna, but better. Oh, no, I do know what that is. You're right. Okay, you're right. You know what's really good is corned beef. I'm too cheap for corned beef, but I, I do really like corned beef slices. Have a mustard and corned beef sandwich and heat it up and yummy, yummy. This game somehow manages to be immersive and kind of intense, even when nothing's happening. Alright, let's eat. Not half bad, let's eat one of these. Can't complain. Okay, good. Or sham this back up. Anxiety inducer. Yeah, it really is. I'm also trying to pay really close attention here to my surroundings so I don't accidentally run into a trap because there's a lot of traps out here I don't know if you guys can see them on the screen but there's a lot of like trip ropes and like fake holes and shit and oh no there might be bombs hold on what do I have equipped here I don't know what the fake death pill really does so I don't know if I should keep it equipped okay these are useful Night vision, not as much. I'm going to turn that one off. Motion detector is good. I haven't used the sonar. I don't know if I'm going to. 
Mine detector's good. And, okay, we have an extra slot, so I'm going to take our night vision goggles back, actually. But, um, all right. Let me just make sure here. No beeps? Okay, no beeps. We're good. We can't waste our battery, so I can't keep it always equipped. Chat, I'd like you to take a guess at what the most popular Metal Gear Solid villain in, in the game series is. Like, all of them. And I'm not being a joke, but, like, legit. Which one do you... <gasps> trying so hard to look out for traps. Honestly, I applaud this gamer in its attempt at realism because, um, I mean, yeah, when you're looking out in the jungle, sometimes it's more dangerous just navigating the jungle with the animals and the traps than it is actually fighting the guys. Okay, we should turn, take off our splitter out here. Let's just go, um, woodland. And yeah, that should be good. Wait, I'm not done yet. I gotta re-equip these. Okay, let's take off our um. Should be good. But you think liquidus? Liquid? <laughs> Wait, liquidus? <laughs> There's no liquidus. What? You mean Solidus or Liquid? <laughs> Solidus is the MGS2 main bad guy. Uh, but no, Liquid has a cult following, but he's not the most popular. Uh, that's actually... he's. I think he's probably about third place, usually. But um, no, but he, he has a cult following where a lot of people love him. Partially because of Cam Clark's performance as the character is just so legendary. And not to mention, he's such a fucking... He is a very, very charismatic bad guy. Like, when, if Bro was a D&D character, he would... Liquid has max charisma, okay? He, he Dude is extremely charismatic, but kind of a bitch. Uh, Solidus is actually has a... Not, not a cult following. He's not regarded as one of the best villains, but he is one of the... He, most people consider him to be one of the most interesting villains. And I would honestly really agree with that sentiment. Solus is a pretty damn compelling villain. I mean, dude is not even necessary. I mean, he is obviously a villain. Dude Lily was raising children of war and torturing Raiden and did a lot of bad shit. But, and he also killed Olga fucking just mercilessly. But, the dude was trying to take out the Patriots, which is a commendable thing. Um, the Patriots are by no means good guys. Senator Armstrong? No, not even close. <laughs> uh, so, I'm I find it's- <clears throat> Uh, what? Wait. Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? Yeah. If you don't get down from there soon, the enemy might spot you. I know that. <laughs> then why don't you get yourself down? How am I supposed to do that? It should be obvious. If you get caught in a snare trap, press the action button. That will allow you to cut the rope. Hurry and free yourself before the enemy comes around. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. I really did not see that trap. That must have been a very well hidden one. Um, oh, lay out! Get me out of this hellhole! Good God! Oh! Lab exterior, I think that's where we're supposed to go. But no, the most popular Metal Gear Solid villain by a long shot in every game, one, two, three, and four, is Ocelot. Ocelot has, is, is remarkably famous for many reasons. For one, he's a meme. That's the obvious one because of his fucking ridiculous gunsmanship and his weird-ass sexual lines towards revolvers. For two, he's always ahead of the enemy in every game. Dude outsmarted Liquid and survived the ordeal of MGS1, the only guy who survived. 
And MGS2, he was ahead of Solidus the entire time and had his own thing going on. Um, and now we have him here in 3, where he's just a young guy and he's eccentric and weird and kind of funny. I mean, in every game, Ocelot's pretty interesting and pretty fun. He's a fun character. But, uh, not necessarily my favorite, but I can see why people would say that. I, I like Ocelot a bit myself. I'm not sure which appearance of the character. But, yeah. Okay. This is a cool-looking base. I, I feel like I'm in the Incredibles movie right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, the jungle with Syndrome or whatever. It's kind of what I feel like right now. Smooth. You're on the island. Kind of feels like it out here. More snake. How do we use so much stamina already? My lord. Guys, it's time to eat a giant anaconda. This tastes great. Excellent. I probably should have waited for that then. I didn't know it was going to be that good. My anaconda don't. My <laughs> anaconda don't. My anaconda don't want to be eaten by naked snake, hun. Oh, there we go. That's an entrance. She got at the other end there. This game makes me feel like I'm actually Naked Snake. Like, I actually am sneaking around and using my surroundings and not just being wired with the fucking train gun. <laughs> being a fucking meme. Oh, another suppressor. Oh, a suppressor for my, my uh, regular handgun. That's good. Guys, so I learned something that I didn't know you could do in MGS 2 and 3. Um, I learned... What's up with these things? I was gonna say when you're when you're doing this, you can peek around a corner like this. I didn't know you could do that. They don't really tell you any of this stuff. Also, there's a dog. Okay, good. The other guy didn't hear. Okay, our camo is not doing so good in this area. Seems useful. Oh, yeah, it totally is. Uh, okay, woodland is apparently our best option still. Alright, let's just go with this while it's nighttime. I think black actually has more to do with the lighting of the area than the, the location. M37, what gun is that again? Is that our shotgun? <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I feel like if we walk into that spotlight, we're about to get caught. This, this is a risky move, but I'm going to try shooting it out. I don't worry, I'm putting on a suppressor. No? Does it not matter? Well, I guess there's no guard up there. I, I guess it's a barbed wood light? Question mark? I'm kind of afraid to walk into it, though. Well, to be safe, I'm just going to go this way. Kind of hug the wall a little bit. Also, there's another guy. Oh, wait. Is that him there? Oh, my God. He's hard to see. <gasps> dog! Why is the dog up? No! Fall asleep. Fall asleep. What? Come on, fall asleep! This is HQ. We're all here. 
fuck that guy. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. Oh, no. oh, where's that support unit at? I heard them, I don't know where they're at. Stripe, it's a good job, mate. Hey? Eh? Okay. There's another gate that way. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, um. Maybe that maybe maybe I've made smarter moves in my life. Lightly snake? Lightly? Oh, okay. No? Oh, I didn't have the gun equipped. Damn it! Gonna let you do it as a good kink, mate, bruh. Brings me back to my MW3 spec op days. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, get me in here for crying out loud. <laughs> uh, do I need a key or something? Is there another way in? Okay, guys, I want to try the, the gate again. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what we're supposed to be doing right now. Call for advice. Yeah, I, I need to get used to that. So there's a high wall around the perimeter of the lab. Climbing over it probably isn't an option. But there must be an entrance somewhere. Keep your eyes open. The best source of information about a facility is the people going in and out of it. Try interrogating one of the enemies about the entrance. I totally forgot you could to do that. To interrogate an enemy, grab him from behind using CQC and press the left analog stick to put your knife to his throat. Oh, you could do that? Oh, I thought he meant like the holding him at gunpoint thing, which I really underutilized a lot in my MGS2 playthrough. There are so many points where I could have done that. So I can't go this way? I, I guess not. Well, I might or may not have killed the enemies. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I uh, may have fucked that up. Uh-oh. So, <laughs> what do I do now? I, I killed the enemies. Trying to reload the map. Hold on. Th this is probably a terrible idea. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try something here. I'm gonna try something. Alright, let's uh No way, right? Should we try on the door? The front entrance seems like a bad idea. Hiya! I just like rolling. Satisfying. I 
didn't know if there's something suspicious about these boxes, but never mind. I might have to hide. Oh, come on! Nani? What do you mean? What was that for? Oh! Guys, shit, cock. I fucked this up. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess, uh. I guess that's what being a bitch gets you. You kill all the guys. But, I mean, we're just interrogating them to find a way in. There has to be an actual way in. They would just help us understand. Let's we'll call it Eva. Please tell us Eva. God damn it, Eva, come on! They sick the tag dogs on you? People have been using dogs in war since before recorded history. The Greek and Roman armies used to send out packs of dogs with spiked collars to charge at enemy ranks. Attack dogs were regularly employed in the First and Second World Wars as well. Traditionally, dogs have been used to keep watch, send messages, and assist in search operations. Then the Soviets came up with a new idea, using them to carry bombs. Bomb dogs? Yeah. They were trained to dive beneath tanks carrying a payload of bombs. Bruh. Apparently it worked pretty well, but the Russians messed up, man. They used their own tanks for the training. Turns out the dogs kept going after Russian tanks and blowing them up. So the plan was scrapped before it got off the ground. Bruh. Well, I don't think you need to worry about those dogs exploding on you. They don't seem to be the bomb-carrying type. But they are highly trained in tracking and detection. Don't underestimate them. They're excellent trackers and ferocious fighters. Attack dogs move fast and are deadly in proximity encounters. They'll pick up your scent and use it to track you so it'll be hard to shake them off. In a way, they're more dangerous than any human opponent. <clears throat> be prepared. Listen, I don't want to find The Soviet-made smoke grenades you might find around there also seem to act as a mild tear gas. Oh. It might not have that much of an effect on human targets wearing balaclavas, but it ought to wreak havoc to a dog's nose. If you're being chased by attack dogs, give them a taste of a smoke grenade. That's great advice. I never thought of that. Saving the game, Snake? I don't know if I should be saving the game, but I want to save the game. Well, that is very good to know. I agree. I wonder what movie she's going to tell us about this time. Goofy Ah uh, Paramedic. It's her full title. She's the goofy ah paramedic. Snake, have you ever seen For a Fistful of Dollars? Nope. Never. It's a spaghetti western. Spaghetti western? It's really cool. Especially the main character's stylish gunplay. Gunplay? I saw it in England on the Major's recommendation, but it hasn't come out in the States yet. It's so cool. They'll bring it to America, I'm sure. You have to see it sometime. Sure. <laughs> Alright. Little shuffle horrors. <laughs> That's not the movie's not that old. <laughs> oh wait, why am I carrying the TNT around? Let's not do that. Um Ah damn, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go. Even that explosion didn't attract any guards, which is really surprising. So yeah. Wasn't there another way to go out here anyway? I mean, it's probably not the way we're supposed to go out here, but there is another way though. Ran any Gorky South. Ain't that right, Graninny? Got any Graninnies in chat? <laughs> I, I'm afraid of walking the leaves with these traps set about. Okay, let's see here. I see a Graninny in chat, everyone. Don't be using the south in vain. Ten Grenennies in your area wanting to bake cookies? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> that, that's the commercial. I want those ad pop-ups. <gasps> no, no, no. Is that... Oh, shit. 
book? What do you mean, book? Wait, what did I just pick up? Was this like another... Is this another magazine? Wait, guys, did we just pick up a loot magazine? Is that in this game? Hold up. Publication with adult-oriented material full of girly photos and interesting columns. Yo, is there a column for 10 grand innies in your area? <laughs> Wait. Oh, this is where I came from. Damn it. You call the paramedic while holding the book? You're right. <laughs> I see you've caught yourself a Taiwanese cobra. Mm -hmm. The Taiwanese cobra is native to Taiwan and southern China. Catch my Taiwanese cobra. It's quite vicious and carries a potent neurotoxin in its fangs. Be careful. If it bites you, go into the survival viewer immediately and use the cure Listen, to Grand inject Innie. yourself with serum. Listen, I don't need Sounds to know. interesting. Don't ask me. Huh? The guy doesn't say. If you absolutely have to know, then you'll just have to try it yourself and see. I didn't say anything. But you were going to ask, weren't you? About the taste? Maybe. I'll talk to you later, Snake. Hmm, <laughs> paramedic. Oh, you silly girl. All right, call her again, come on. I see you've caught a coral sn I, I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely milk resembles snake? the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. What? Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Yeah, I know. Yeah, we had it. was gross. But if I've already caught and eaten it, what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot, I thought I had a good idea. <laughs> Bruh, she's so silly. All right, second, will you comment on this ab adult There seem to be traps planted throughout that area, and they look a little primitive. Yeah, but this is their territory. Why would they need this many traps here? Maybe it's part of some kind of tactical research. Tactical research? Yeah. As I'm sure you know, the Soviet Union is leading a worldwide revolution among communist forces all over the globe. But a lot of the countries involved don't have the necessary funds and industrial technology. So they need tactics that are both effective and economical. That's what they're researching? Yeah. And traps are one of the best ways to do that. I'll bet that place is one of their testing grounds. Clappers, arrows, pendulums. All of these traps are set off by applying force to a rope. Don't touch the ropes and you'll be fine. Use rolling to get over them or just crawl under them. Either way ought to work. Hmm. If you do that, set yeah. off a trap and an arrow or a spike pendulum comes flying your way, you can still dodge it by immediately diving out of the way. Pit traps and snares are camouflaged into the ground to make them harder to detect. But if you look carefully enough, you can see them through the disguise. Try stalking to proceed with extra caution. In any case, if you think there might be traps lying around, keep a close eye on the ground and stay alert. Listen. Is no one going to talk to me about my, uh, awesome girly photo magazine? Look, what, what, what's, look at the, <laughs> look at, what, what's like, can we see the back of it? Not really. <laughs> um, listen, Sigan, my guy. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. The Come black on. uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. 
and it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you'd find in swamps. Second? Listen, we're gonna talk about these girls in this magazine. So, you're wearing woodland Second? face paint. Damn you! The woodland paint is most effective in forest environments. It'll work best if you use it when infiltrating forest areas. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. To camouflage yourself, first press the start button to check out the survival view. Sing it. Sing it. Then select. I'm gonna cut you off there. I know how to use it. Do I have to place down the magazine and then react to it? God damn you people! I want to talk about these girls with someone. Now you're gonna make me go Kermit in this damn jungle. I'm looking out for traps. I'm looking out. Looking out. I don't see any. And hiya! Woo! That was smooth, guy. And hiya! Okay, you, you think those guards are back if we go back? Alright. Let's talk about these girls with somebody. I want to talk about. Hey, I want to talk about some goyles. That's how Popeye the Sailor Man says it. I don't know why I climbed up here. I just felt like it. <gasps> but I can get over here! Oh, never mind. <clears throat> never mind. I'm looking out for traps. Looking out. Looking out. What the hell? <gasps> what the fuck? Yo! That's just some dead guy in a trap. What the fuck? I did not notice that the first time. So that just happened. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Well, um... I want to pull out my magazine. And somebody better talk to me about my damn magazine. First off, is there any guards back? Please. Please. Dog. Why is there just a lone dog? Wait. Oh shit, Snake, you hungry? Hold on. Is there a guy over there? I thought I might have saw someone. I don't know if there is anybody out here. Dude, I want to know how to get into this base. Let's eat this reticulated python. Tasty. Yay! All right. We can't interrogate the goddamn dog! Is there really no guys out here? It's almost like they have a secured stone wall that they don't need guards for or something. Guys, that was a tip from the Major that was going to give us advice on how to get into the base, but... <gasps> oh my lord! You're kidding me. I found it myself. I didn't need to interrogate no damn soldier. Some Ocarina of Time shit crawling in the back of the Hyrule Castle courtyards. This, this gives me Modern Warfare 3 vibes when you're like doing that stealth mission with um, soap at the end. It's all rainy. It's like right after, um, I mean not soap, um, price. Oh, wrong gun. Wait a second. That's not the right gun. Ugh. 
Okay, good. Nobody's nearby. That's wrong. Uh oh. Never mind. Head level. Shit. Huh? Oh, god damn. You're not gonna tear at a dog next time, bro. Okay, we're still doing good. This guy's pretty far away. I think it'll be fine. Move these guys out the way here. Guy's not looking this way anyway. Let's go. Finally gonna rescue Sokolov, thank god. Dude, that was come on! I need some credit for that. Y'all see that clean clean ass headshot that I just pulled off Alright Huh? Oh, this is the back door. Oh, okay. I guess we can get out from there Yeah, that was very clean Mom get the camera That's lame son, you didn't even kill him. You used a trank dart like a pussy. You should kill those commies. But mom, what are you saying, mom? Kill the commies, son. Fuck them. Fuck them. Teabag them, son. Uh, mom, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. XM16E1. What the fuck is this? What is that? What the hell did I just get? Um, I'm keeping my book on hand, frankly. Okay. Uh, it's a fucking M16. Oh, it's an XM16 E1. I was not reading that right. Okay. I'm glad to know we got a goddamn M16. the door snake quietly thank you xm16 sounds like the name of elon's kid <laughs> that's what he names his children bro elon is literally um what's the big guy uh sanji's father it's just that guy <laughs> I can't think of his name right now um vin smoke that's eli he just names his children numbers I thought I heard walking. Oh, guys, you see that? That's a secret entrance. Hold on, there's more back here. What's going on back here? Claymore? Smoke grenade. We found a secret entrance. Okay. Elon's like, oh. A beautiful baby boy. He'll be A1. Oh, and, and, and another one. Twins. She'll be B2. Face Oyama? What is... What is... What is that? <laughs> what? Why? We're gonna be Call of Duty Ghost. Feeling a little edgy, as usual. Not feeling a little, I'm not feeling a little bit Oyama right now. But a gangster tell Elon names his kid 2B. <laughs> oh shit. What about Zuckerberg? What did he name his children? 
that's not noise. I think it's safe to come out here. What are these called? We're in one of these, um, like, places they build in the middle of a house. It's, like, outdoors. There's a name for it. Does anybody know the name? I bet your name is Kimberly Chicken! Pikmin! What? Who? What? Yo! Hold up! Holy shit! Where I didn't they can see me through the goddamn windows? Must have some good ass eyesight. Oh fuck you. Oh god, he punched me first, Jesus Christ. What that wasn't a headshot? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, these guys are so hard to beat sometimes. Oh, we got some medication. Well, that just happened. Good god. Snake, we need to cure you in the fucking vents. Deep cut, bleeding. Oh boy. Deep cut, so that would be, um... Is it septic? Is that the thing that prevents us from bleeding? Oh yeah, okay it is. Disinfect. Bandage. Anyone want to name their kid Reticulated Python? I'm just not in a cell right now. Okay, we're trying to go back on a stealth. Let me uh, equip my suppressed trank gun. Lost the enemy. I'm no Lost wizard man. That was a new voice. Anybody else missing a uh, enemy spotted? What's wrong? What do you mean what's wrong? What is wrong? Do they hear me? The guards in this game are so much smarter than I'd like them to be. I'm missing a chode. What do you mean you're missing a boy? What? Excuse me? Missing a chode? Is that your way of saying you don't have a chode? Hey girl, missing a chode. God damn, I've been cautioned for a while. Game, how dare you go for a realistic approach with enemies? Don't you know I want them to forget I exist after two seconds? Must have been the weed. Guy coming. Sounded like sounded right over here on the, on the side. No. This is not the right camouflage for in here. locked in here some good caution music yeah i fucking this music's great this game has such little music too it's like it's like a minecraft center when it comes on it's like oh damn oh damn there's music Piece of shit. Freeze. Fuck him. What? You're off. Oh, 
Give me those headshots. I am terrible at stealth. I just need to kill everyone. I'm the true anime villain. I see him. No, you don't. Because I don't see you. How do you see me? Where? The, these motherfuckers are asking for it right now. They are absolutely asking. Are you following me? You're a bitch. Watch this, guys. Fuck! It's hard to do that. No, no, not that. Snake, not that. Watch, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna learn the thing. Snake, equip the gun, damn it! That whole thing about tactical stealth. I was just kidding. We're actually playing COD. SVD. Oh, that's sniper. Oh, M36. That's that's shotgun. guys are fucking me up. Oh wait, I'm poisoned! Why was I poisoned? By what? Okay. This is a cut. Septic. Uh, what's the other thing? Disinfectant. Bandage. Oh, do I have to suture it? Okay, I have to suture it. Nani? Guys are like, psh, 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 psh. snake's like. Ow. The guy's just toe tapping right now. Oh god, this reminds me of that Clementine scene in Walking Dead, except it's way less graphic. If you know what I'm talking. If you if if you know what I'm talking about, Walking Dead season two game, you know what? I, you'll never forget that fucking scarred me. <laughs> Why was he just staring at the camera at the end? All right, guys, I'm done patching myself up. We can get back to our battle. So, how does this work? Oh, fuck, that's really hard to do. Never mind. Oh no, I'm gonna pass out! I'm gonna pass out! Snake's like getting all shaky and shit! Guys, I. I'm gonna be honest with you here. Um, damn it. Never have a bomb when I need one. I think I, 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 think I, I need to die. I need to die. Just kill me. Just, just please end me. This, this, this was a failure. Will you shoot me already? What is your problem? <laughs> Staring coming to a certain dominance. To a certain dominance, rather. Okay, 
Are we good? Not half bad. Not too bad. Alright. Hold on. Let me not have a fucking M16 equipped right now. I don't think we really need that. Uh, wait, oh, wait, M19? No, 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 we need that. De-equip this. Give me my, um... Chaff's not super useful yet. Stun could be useful. Fuck, there's a guy right around the corner. walking this way. <laughs> Are you gonna repeatedly open and close your door, my guy? <laughs> Look at this silly bastard. <laughs> Look at his patrol options. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just stay in the room with the window? You can see the whole hallway from there. Look at this goofy ah bastard. See what happens? You wanna see what happens when you look under here? Huh? Oh, you picked the wrong battle! <laughs> ah, you're getting cheesed! He's getting cheesed! What's Cheese him! Wrong? What's wrong? Oh, he's getting cheesed! No, oh, oh he moved out of my range. <laughs> Cheesed him so hard. Fuck these guys. I'm not a good guy. I'm an American motherfucker. Damn it. You fucker! Oh, I gotta reload. You fucker! Alright, well, um... I learned this from the Bond Academy. Hey, don't mind me, guys. I, uh... Don't mind me. Well, there's not really a great reason to go down there. Okay, mouse trap. What? There's gonna be a skill in R, &R called Medical Viewer that just stops combat and everybody's forced to watch a time creep of the user healing himself. Dude, that would be so fucking amazing. Is that what you're telling me? 
<laughs> oh, you want some? Huh? Uh-oh. I might get a little bloodthirsty sometimes. It's normal. It's a healthy amount of bloodthirsty. This tactical stealth game, immersive, quiet, very ambient. Alright. I think I killed everyone, guys. I think I just killed everyone. Holy shit. Pretty sure I actually just murdered everyone. Genocide root? Yeah, truly. Psychomantis read a naked snake instead of solid snake. I see. You're as crazy as me and murderer. This whole basement has been cleared out. Uh, guys, what? Or do you think? Do you guys think they're gonna say anything? I'm kind of curious. Good. You've infiltrated the lab. The security on the inside is very tight. You'll find it difficult to look for Sokolov unless you're disguised as a scientist. Use the clothes that Eva gave you to disguise yourself as a scientist. To disguise yourself as a scientist, go into the survival viewer and select scientist from the uniform option on the camouflage screen. Just remember to remove your face paint. To remove your face paint, choose no paint from the face option of the camouflage screen. Mm -hmm. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind next time. Snake like pushes the bodies in the corner. Good, good to know, Major. I'll. Good to know. I see you've got yourself a ration. Was that what you want to talk about? Rations are portable meals carried by Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like the rumors are true. Great. <laughs> hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it'll never go bad. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. I'd take a snake over this any day, <laughs> even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. Bruh. Second, what, what do you want to say? Snake, you face pain. It's... I know. It's called zombie. Oh, I doubt it. Zombie? What does that mean? Beats me. Are you serious? Hello, paramedic. You mean you've never heard of zombies? Nope. Never. You guys don't know anything. <laughs> a zombie is a dead body that's been cursed and brought back to life by a master of black magic. Supposedly, they revive the dead and use them as slaves. It's also seen as a kind of punishment. People who commit terrible crimes can be forced to labor even after they're dead. Interesting. How do you know all this stuff? I saw it in movies. Like White Zombie. Never seen it? Uh, nope. Can't say I have. How about Plan 9 from Outer Space? No. Missed it. <laughs> you can't just focus on the things you like all the time. You have to expand your horizons, try new things. You guys need to get out more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, anyway, that face paint doesn't look all that useful. Go ahead and wear it if you want, but I think you should change to... You don't need to change anything. Why not? It makes them look awesome. <laughs> Doesn't it? Look, arguing about it isn't going to get us anywhere. Snake, you do whatever you want. It does make you look cool. <laughs> I love paramedic. I love her. I love her. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit, that's funny. Okay, well. Snake. Door. Snake door. Tell me none of those guards had a fucking key. Is that what you're telling me? Oh, gross. There's maggots coming over here already. Oh, look. What the fuck? 
That's some unnecessary attention to detail. It's kind of disturbing, but okay. Um, so are you telling me I just came down here and did all that, but I actually can't get over here? Oh, wait, maybe it's the vent. Oh, it's the vent. It's the vent. It's the vent. It's the vent. It's the map. It's the map. It's the map. Huh? <laughs> Alright, listen. Ah! How do I take that damn vent off? Oh, not Eva, god damn it. Snake, enemy soldiers who operate indoors aren't equipped with radios. To communicate with command, they'll have to use the radio-equipped alarm systems located on the walls. If you're spotted by an enemy, you can avoid going into alert phase by taking him out before he can use the alarm system. Okay, well, that's good to know. Nothing to say about this damn vent? To disguise yourself as a scientist? No. But, uh, I already clearly forgot that, so let me do that now. Platypus. He has glasses too for a. Uh... Erm, actually, Major. What was that snake? Erm, actually. I study snakes, specifically how they taste. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at our man go. Look at him. What the? He still has the bandana on, you fucking dork. All right, well, I wanted to get to the basement, but I don't think we can, so I guess I'm going back up here. Please don't just immediately spot us. Oh, no. Is this going to work? I mean, they wouldn't all know what my face looks like, but... Snake, can you fucking open your door not like that, maybe? What did I just say? <laughs> did he just fix his glasses? Pulled up room actually. What's up? What's up? Hey, well, how's it going, man? Um, I can't believe this is what I was supposed to do the whole time. Unbelievable. What do you guys think would happen if I put on Jack? <laughs> <laughs> Should we? No, nah, because if a cussing happens, it's gonna. F I I don't. I, I want to see his face. <laughs> Jesus, snake! God damn it! What part of stealth do you not understand? Pull the arm action gesture. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> they don't like chodes. What do you mean they don't like chodes? <gasps> oh, that's the front door there. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. I don't know. I'm just kind of admiring this PS2 scene work. You know, an attempt at realism was made, it kind of succeeded. I mean, look at this environment. It actually looks like a real place with, like, stuff on the tables and shit. Like, it's very detailed. It even sounds like a real place. Listen to that, like, fucking industrial fan AC noise. Grand Ninny. Grand Titty. Grand Titty Gorky. 
more like granted dorky. Oh, brah, now we're over here. I cannot believe it was this easy, guys. I... Who's that? What? Dude, you bitch. Oh, come on. This game will not give me a break. That's it. Raiden does not show mercy on his enemies. Give me a katana. Fortnite, okay, that works. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, you fucking bastard. How about that? Huh? For crying out loud. Oh, come on, what? Oh, I'm out? That's not good. when you don't. You just blast into pieces, boy. Hey, get up. Hey, shut up. I'm going to look at these 60s-ass computer places. your bitch ass up. Wait, 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 wait. Before we take that call, let me, let me just, let me, let me take this fucking, hold on. Let's not be riding. Grant, can you give me that gawk gawk? Contact Sokolov later after you've disengaged the enemy. Once things have stabilized, try it again. Got it? Oh, he's in this room. Can I just fucking commit suicide at this point? Like, good lord. Huh. Huh. Huh? What do you mean? You wanna see what's gonna happen to this guy who just been a bitch to me? You wanna know what's gonna happen, guys? I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen. Watch this. Okay? Watch closely. Oh, come on. What? I can't attack in the scientist outfit. Are you kidding me? Come here, you... <laughs> yeah, fuck you. That's what you fucking get. That's what you get, you fucking bastard. You do. Holy shit! I played it on him! Holy shit! I didn't know you could do that! Are you alive? Alright. Try that again. It's like Leon and Snake have this a thing for opening doors really loud unnecessarily. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I agree. Okay. 
So why did that guy see us last time? We didn't do shit to him. And he just went off on us. Nope, 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 nope. Shit, they, they know each other. Huh. 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 My lord. They're playing the <laughs> same GS2 theme. If you're looking for Sokolov, he's not here anymore. <laughs> that voice sounds familiar. Put that thing away. You'll spoil my drink. So, you're the intruder everyone's talking about. No, I don't know. Typical capitalist dog. No manners. And who are you? You mean you've never heard of me? And you call yourself an agent? Very well, then. I am Alexander Leonovich Granin. A man of some importance, if I do say so myself. I am the foremost weapon scientist in the Soviet Union. And the head of the glorious Granin Design Bureau. This is the Order of Lenin. It is an honor of the greatest magnitude, given along with the title of Hero of Socialism to only the finest workers. It was awarded to me in recognition of my brilliant contributions to society. Since the Great Patriotic War, I have created countless weapons in the service of our great communist society. It was thanks to me that we were able to stamp out the Nazi scum. It was I who created the basic design for the mobile ballistic missile system you know and fear as SS-1C. Good name. You're crocked, aren't you? I'm merely drowning my sorrow. Because of him, I've got nothing to do but sit here and drink this crap. Him? Sokolov. It's him you're looking for, isn't it? Because of him, I have been stripped of my authority. My research has come to nothing. Look! It is a revolutionary mobile nuclear missile system. A bipedal tank. A bipedal tank? Yes, a walking tank. A robot. Are you familiar with the theory of the missing link between apes and humans? What? Come in. Well, this technology will be the missing link between infantry and artillery. What? A kind of metal gear, if you will. Do you see Metal Gear Ray on the desk? And this magnificent metal gear will mark a revolutionary step forward in weapons development. Metal gear? <laughs> But I won't be used so easily. No, no crying myself to sleep. For you see, I'm going to send these documents to my friend in the United States. Oh, shit. What? I'm Rick. These bastards will live to regret this. Bro, it's Rex. And when they themselves become the targets of my creation, they will know my true greatness. Yes. Sokolov's pathetic shagohan pales in comparison to my work. What are you going to do with a rocket engine on a tank? About Sokolov. A tank does not need a rocket. It needs something else. Look at these. Nice shoes. No. Legs. 
Legs that allow it to go anywhere. Just as when humans learn to walk upright. That is the real revolution in weaponry, don't you agree? But the fool's in charge chose Sokolov. And where is Sokolov? My project has been terminated. The philosopher's legacy has been handed over to him. What the hell are you talking about? The philosopher's legacy. Haven't you heard of the philosophers? The colonel has inherited their immense legacy. Rolgin's father was in charge of the philosopher's money laundering activities. In the confusion of the war, he somehow ended up with their treasure. And Rolgin inherited that treasure illegally. We never need to worry about the military budget. The development costs at our facility are all paid out of the Colonel's deep pockets. The weapons born here will be the genes for creating an entirely new form of warfare. The funding for my research came out of that legacy. Came out of it. Now, my money, my men, all have been diverted to the Shagohan project. Tomorrow, they will be conducting the final test, while Sokolov is making the final preparations in the weapons factory at Volgin's main base, the great fortress of Grozny Grad. Here I am, playing host to an enemy spy and drinking myself into a stupor. That's where they move Sokolov? Yes. And the Shagohod is there too? Of course. Hey! You're not thinking of going to Grozny Grad. Are you mad? It's an impenetrable fortress. I'm sure it is. You'll be killed. I'll take my chances. Wait. What? Listen to me, you fool. I want to help you. Help me? To thank you for your compliment. What compliment? My shoes. Bruh. Tatiana gave them to me. I wanted to thank you for complimenting me on them. I'll tell you how to get into the fortress. In return, I ask only that you get that idiot out of there and destroy the Shagohad. There is an underground tunnel that runs around the perimeter of the fortress. You should be able to use it to sneak into the base. This guy's not Head so to bad. The mountains. I like him. The entrance to the tunnel is located there. Take this. Hmm. So he created Metal Gear and you gave the plans to the You passed to a warehouse on your way here, didn't you? Yeah. There should have been a locked door inside of it. Oh, yeah? Do you remember it? Uh... This key... We'll open that door. Beyond that door lies the vast jungle. You can climb up into the mountains from the far end of the jungle. Go back to the warehouse. Use the key to open the locked door and head for the mountains. Got it? Why are you helping me? Unlike Sokolov, the thought of defecting has never once crossed my mind. I love my country. I love this land. I cannot even imagine living anywhere else. I wish to remain a hero. ...of the Great Motherland. I cannot bear the thought of being hounded into a corner and left to waste away. It is already dawn. We must hurry. I will remain here and nurse my troubles for a little longer.
to capitalism. Snake is so different from Solid Snake. He's like a, not even remotely similar. <laughs> This is so random to bring up out of nowhere, but there's this dude I met at work and his facial hair, like some people have a mustache, some people have a goatee, right? This dude? How about you shut the fuck up? Die, bastard. God damn it. The, his facial hair is literally... <laughs> It's just a neck beard, like no, no beard, no mustache, just the neck beard part. I'm like, what? What? Why would you do that? Like, I would do the exact opposite. I would keep everything but the neck beard. Uh, I don't understand some people. <laughs> oh, shit. Guys, frankly, I have lost my patience, and I am about to go berserk. That's gonna be a trend. I am tired of this damn scientist. Any bullets in here? No bullets. That's gonna be a trap. So I started blasting. That's right. That's right. I am. I hate this indoor location. Those scientists are a bitch. Oh come on, that was perfect. I'm, I'm letting go of the button too lightly. God damn it. Is shit. Okay, forty seven. Yes, I need that. Well, not him again. Look, I just walked past all these dead bodies and they I didn't fucking see us. Just about all the guards, let's we might as well check if there's anything else useful in here. Oh come on! Damn. 
I'm making a master of shooting. I'm starting to love this game's control. I, I, I was really sucking at MGS2 and, and 3 at first, but I am, once you get used to the controls, it feels great. Like, it feels fantastic. Oh, God damn, that wasn't a headshot. Suture kit, so we need that shit. Um. <laughs> Alright. Huh? Where? Where? Wait, where do you see me? Where? Where? Huh? Where? Where do you see me? I don't see you. What? From, from, from where do you now see me? Holy shit, there's so many guards. I never claimed to be good at video games. My dick! I'm so sorry, Snake. It's all my fault. I got so bloodthirsty. Ma Mommy Yamasaki. More like Mamma Mia, bruh. Yeah, the gameplay looks fun. Oh, it is. It is very satisfying to play this game. It feels so smooth. Oh, man. Being in the outdoors and camouflaging and taking out the guy stealthily is cool. Inside, it's just a nightmare. I see him. Oh, fucking Christ, la lad. For real. Is somebody close by here? Oh, we need to eat. Taiwanese Cobra. Tastes bad. It's okay, we're gonna eat it anyway. Sick. You're fine, Snake. What? Tarantula? When did I get a goddamn tarantula? Not eaten yet? I don't want to. I can't make him eat it. Guys, I can't do it. I can't. Oh, I can't. I can't do it. Tastes bad. Eat it again, Snake. This is horrible. Yeah, sorry, Snake. Sometimes the man's gotta do what you gotta do, man. Over there? Y'all don't know what you're getting yourself into right now. I see ya. I have absolutely no empathy in any of my bones. Oh my god, there's a 
a lot of guys. Oh god, it's really hard to get the AK from far away. Trench is hardcore. Yeah, I would absolutely never. Oh shit, cutscene? What? him Brazilian wandering spider. Soon a most exquisite pain will engulf your entire body. Your limbs will be paralyzed, your lungs cease to draw breath. Eventually your heart will stop beating. Ah, but what fun would that be? Not a fitting death at all. The boss's apprentice. It's Tyrion. Oh, shit, it's like Tyrion. fear such as you've never experienced before. Come into my web. It is time for you to feel the fear. My brother in place. What the fuck did you just do? This just came out of nowhere. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm already low on health from that last encounter. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, kill that Venom. Suffering from a crossbow bolt wound? <laughs> what do you want me to do about that? What the fuck? Okay, knife helped. Bolt extracted, good. Um, it's not telling us what to do this time. I'm going to assume Siptic. Disinfect. Oh, there we go. Good, 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 good. I have no idea how to beat this guy. Where the fuck is he? There's no traps out of here? To a high point. Uh-oh. She's over there. Damn it. Yeah. Oh shit, where'd he go? What the fuck? That's what I'm wondering. Yeah! 
Well, that's not good. Time to call the gang. Yes, let's do it. Thank you for reminding me. The fear is using something called stealth camouflage to conceal himself. But you should be able to spot him if you look closely in first person view. Watch for rustling grass, falling leaves, anything that will betray his presence. Find him and shoot him in first person view. Cool, thanks for the good advice. The fear coats his poison bullets with venom from the Brazilian wandering spider. The Brazilian wandering spider is said to have the deadliest venom of any spider in the world. It's a potent neurotoxin, so if you get hit by one of the fear's poison bolts, go to cure in the survival viewer and inject yourself with serum immediately before it kills you. Oh, shit. Snake, the fear is supposed to be wearing some kind of stealth camo. I don't know how it works exactly, but it seems to refract the light around it somehow to hide the person who's wearing it. This is the best camouflage I've ever seen. It's going to be tough to figure out where he is. But that doesn't mean he doesn't have a weak point. Apparently, wearing stealth camo really drains your stamina. When he's out of stamina, the camo will stop working. Don't miss your opportunity. Oh, okay. Eva? Damn it, Eva, come on! You wanna save? I'll get right on it. We're gonna save. I mean, I might have slaughtered like an entire basement in the scientist place and gone on a, a massive rampage. And yeah, I'm getting ghosted by Eva, um, but we'll save. Snake, be careful out there. Don't worry. Well, who needs Eva when we got paramedic? Am I right? Oh, wait, I didn't do what I wanted to do. There we go. Paramedical loyal. Yeah, she's the real waifu. That's right. All right, now where? Oh, shit, he's shooting. I'm trying to listen closely. There's still traps in here, that's not good. Question mark. Oh, cr just crossable. Okay, we didn't get poison. That's lucky. All right, septic disinfect. That should be good. Oh, there is. Yeah. <laughs> 
fast. Oh, 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 oh. I lost him. No, no, I just saw him. Where'd he go? Huh? What, what's that? What is that? Shotgun did a lot of damage. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't use this from the beginning. I mean, it's less lenient because you really have to know where he's at. Only one shot at a time, but damn, it's very nice when you hit it. Okay, good shit. So, why are we not healing? Oh, no. Oh, we're not healing. Uh, <laughs> we're going to eat this European rabbit? Hey, this works. Hey, okay, let's go. Sorry, folks, bunny. Yeah, let's go first try. He skitters around on the ground like a bug. Yeah. The fear. The fear. I see it. The fear. Suicide bomb into a bunch of arrows? Oh. Okay. Oh. I. Guys, after all of that I just went through, and all that max ammo I got at the last base, I am like out of everything now. Except for rabbit. Hunted wit. Wait, and we got a serum from the rabbit? That's good. Guess he was the dog they trained to blow. <laughs> Wait, let's call everyone. I want to see what they have to say. According to Granin, you should be able to get to the mountains through a passage located in deep major. in the jungle beyond the warehouse. Right. Then if I climb the mountains, there'll be an underground tunnel leading to Groznygrad near the summit. Start out by going back to the warehouse. Use the key you got from Granin to open the door and proceed into the jungle. You remember where the door is, don't you? It's directly north of the door you went in when you came from the aqueduct. I think I remember. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Okay. But what is this thing? Never seen anything like it. Calorie Mate is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. <laughs> really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? Huh? <laughs> it's easy to keep track of your <laughs> calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes, I love Japan. <laughs> wow. She ends the call there, too. See, <laughs> if you guys don't know the meme, the kept you waiting, huh? That's like Snake's iconic lines in MGS2. <laughs> she said, don't you keep everyone waiting? <laughs> uh, that's awesome. 
No one's gonna talk about that awesome boss fight I just did. What about you, Sigan? Come on. Pit traps and snares are camouflaged into the ground to make them harder to detect. But if you look carefully enough, you can see them through the disguise. Try stalking to proceed with Yeah, come on, guys. Listen. Come on. Do you want to say We're not gonna talk about that guy exploding in the arrows. We're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. I mean, fair enough. I I think Snake probably just well, just wants to pretend that didn't happen as well, but come on, guys. Okay. Snake, have you seen the movie Them? Eh, no. no. It's about these giant ants that appear in the desert of New Mexico after a nuclear test. The army tries to fight them off with flamethrowers. The ants were so big that they filled up the entire screen. The whole movie theater was screaming. Hmm, an ant that big could make a good meal. Yeah, well, if you find any, don't eat them. Come on, they're not that bad for you. If you end up growing huge like that, you won't have any place left to hide. Just like a girl who gone. Bruh. Wow. Know what I've seen? They? I don't know what that is. Well, guys, I think we should stop here. I feel like this is probably a good stopping point. It's also hot as shit in my house right now. Because I have the AC off while we're streaming, but um, I'm I'm it's really really hot. I'm surprised how fast it got hot on here. It's been almost three hours. Yeah. Damn. This game is fucking awesome. It really didn't feel like three hours went by since I started streaming. God damn! I started streaming around nine. It's like midnight. God damn. Well, this was a crazy stream. Very fun. It's good hanging out with you guys, enjoying this fantastic game. But, um, yeah. Anyhow, that's it. You, you guys know when there'll be more next Saturday, all right? I felt like only an hour went by. That's what I feel like. I mean, seriously, it really went by very fast. Okay, well, I'll see you guys. Thanks for joining.